Have you ever heard of a dragonfly as big as a seagull? Or millipedes longer than the average human being? Have you heard of what we call the reverse hammerhead shark? Don't swipe or click away because these are the most terrifying creatures that lived before dinosaurs. Number 15. Cotylorhynchus They were once considered the largest of the terrestrial vertebrates on Earth during the early Permian period between 279 and 272 million years ago. And if you saw them today, they would look a little weird. They had a small head and a barrel-like body that made the creature look like a balloon. It had an average length of 15.7 feet, with some specimens reaching a length of 20 feet. The Cotylorhynchus shows some sign that the animal had a diaphragm, which was probably weak. This is probably why it required help from other muscle groups to make it work properly. Number 14. Dunkleosteus Alive during the late Devonian period, approximately 382 million years ago, the Dunkleosteus contained several subspecies. These species of prehistoric fish are believed to have been the largest of their time, with a length of about 29 feet. When you couple that with 4 tons of body weights, you understand why we wouldn't want to see them in the sea today. They were just massive! Because of its size and the armored exterior, this animal was a slow swimmer. You don't have to look too closely to see that the Dunkleosteus practically had no teeth, but rather four sharp and bony plates, two on each side of the lip, which it probably used to crush hard-shelled prey in the water. Number 13. Gorgonops Alive during the late Permian period, between 260 and 254 million years ago, these were the apex predators of their time. Some of them even grew to a whopping length of 10 feet with an average size between 4 and 6 feet. Compared to nowadays predators, this is quite large. The Gorgonops had one of the largest canines in the world. This helped it pierce the thick skin of its prey at ease. To give you some perspective, just the head alone was over a foot long. Number 12. Ulimosaurus Alive 265 million years ago, the Ulimosaurus looked similar to our first pick, but they were very different. This creature was actually a herbivore and its large body helped to scare away the predators, allowing it to eat leaves in peace. They were first discovered in Russia and the skeleton gave some interesting insights on the animal's behavior. Scientists found out that the Ulimosaurus had a 4-inch thick skull. Probably because they smashed that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it's probably because they were headbutting with other animals of their kind and over the years developed a thick skull to endure the impact. Talking about evolution. Number 11. Arthropleura With fossils found in North America, Great Britain and Germany, this millipede is the stuff of nightmares. And we have to tell you, we feel calm this thing died over 300 million years ago during the early Evisian and the latest Acilian periods. Why would we be glad? Simple. This millipede was 8 feet long with 30 hard shelled, 3 plated segments to protect the soft body inside. After its discovery, scientists thought that the Arthropleura was a predatorial millipede that was at the top of the food chain. Later, they found out that it was still at the top of the food chain, but instead, it was a herbivore. Number 10. Meganeura This is probably the smallest animal on this list and is still a terrifying example. The 28-inch wingspan might seem small, but when you consider that we're talking about a freaking dragonfly that lived 300 million years ago, it's very impressive. They were predatorial dragonflies, meaning they hunted down smaller insects for food. And to this day, scientists are wondering how an insect could grow to such a big size as the size would pose a problem for these insects' breathing ability. One theory says that oxygen levels in the past must have been higher than they are today granting even larger insects like the Meganeura the ability to breathe enough oxygen to survive even at larger sizes. Number 9. Stethacanthus Alive during the early Carboniferous period, this species of fish is over 320 million years old, with the only living representative of the species being the Acmonistian zangerli, this fish perplexes scientists with its enlarged formation at the top of its dorsal fin. Upon uncovering it in Burston, Scotland, scientists were studying the fish to see if they could uncover a use for this peculiar body part referred to as a spine brush complex, but to this day, the function remains unknown. Another genus of prehistoric fish had the same type of dorsal fin. We would just love to know the answer to this question. Number 8. Azurocassis If you want to see a real-life Pokemon, then look no further than the Azurocassis. 
It was a genus of radiodon arthropods, and the 6.6-foot creature was probably the largest in the entire world about 420 million years ago. It was the first species to have a recorded filter feeder at the front of its mouth. The fossil unearthed was a rare three-dimensional specimen that revealed the animal had flaps on the upper and lower side of the trunk segments. Number 7. Estemenosuchus Alive 267 million years ago and reaching an astounding length of 10 feet, this animal was considered to be an omnivorous therapsid. Most of the fossils uncovered reveal that the animal lived on the territory of present-day Russia with one very distinct feature. Their large 26-inch head had four horns protruding out from it. These were similar to the antlers of a moose, but they were significantly shorter and grew from both the top and the side of the animal's skull. Interestingly enough, this creature used a process called gigantothermy to regulate its internal temperature. This is achieved by having a large size and a compact build. Number 6. Scutosaurus They were considered to be one of the largest reptiles in the world dating back to the Lopingian period over 250 million years ago. They averaged 10 feet in length and the first fossils were unearthed by a Russian paleontologist in his homeland. What's interesting about these reptiles is the fact that they had rough osteoderms on the outside that formed an armor-like protection. Aside from the short tail, nothing on the Scutosaurus was small. In fact, it's one of the rare reptiles whose legs were biologically placed underneath its body so it could better support its own weight. Number 5. Jacolopterus Here's another prehistoric bug that you don't want to see even in your nightmares. They were predatory in nature and lived between 402 and 410 million years ago. They're considered to be the largest arthropods in the world, well surpassing the previous millipede we told you about. The length of this specimen was about 8.5 feet, and if seeing an 8-foot bug wasn't scary enough, then the two giant pincers at the front will surely make you reconsider. And of course, because it had compound eyes, scientists believe that the Jacolopterus was an apex predator. Number 4. Moss Chops Discovered in the Karoo region of South Africa, the Moss Chops is a prehistoric beast that lived during the Guadalupian Epoch between 265 and 260 million years ago. And much like hippos today, they were heavily built, had a small neck and a small head, and their diet consisted primarily of plants and shrubs. The creature reached a length of 9 feet. After examining the skull, scientists found out that it was denser than the skulls of other animals. This suggests that the moss chops like to headbutt with other animals, just like the Ulimosaurus from earlier. What is it with dinosaurs and headbutting each other? Top 3 Number 3. Saurosuchus Alive 231 million years ago during the late Triassic period, the name Saurosuchus means lizard crocodile. Scientists think that this 18-foot animal with an average weight of over 550 pounds walked on four legs and was the apex predator of its time. But since there's no complete fossil ever found, some scientists claim that the Saurosuchus could have been twice as long as considered. Based on the shape of the skull, and by that extent the mouth, the lizard crocodile was probably a carnivore. It had large serrated teeth and a skull that was wide in the back and narrow in the front, which suggests that this animal closely resembled today's crocodiles. Number 2. Rubidgia there are three different species of the Rubidgia uncovered so far, and these animals lived 257 million years ago in the region we now call South Africa and Tanzania. The measurement of the fossils estimated that these predators reached a length of 11 feet. They were so large that just their skulls was 1.5 feet in length. It had a distinct thick skull that housed those saber-like canines used to rip apart prey. With its impressive size, it's believed that the Rubidgia was one of the largest Gorgonopsians in the entire world. Number 1. Dimitrodon The name means two measures of teeth because it had two sets of teeth, one small and one big. In addition to that, this prehistoric animal walked on four extremities and had a sail-backed synapsid. They lived during the early Permian period, which is somewhere between 295 and 272 million years ago. Because of their size, the Dimitrodon was probably another apex predator of its time. Their sizes ranged from 6 all the way up to 15 feet in length, and their weight could be anywhere between 60 and 550 pounds. This hints at all of the different Dimitrodon species present in the wild. And of course, the Dimitrodon shouldn't be mistaken for dinosaurs. They might look similar, but they belong to two different geologic periods. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like the next one. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon.